In my last video, I took this pattern here and turned it into a tiling pattern brush. We're going to do the same thing today, but we're going to try to make it a little bit more intricate. And the first thing I want to do is kind of simplify the flowers a little bit, make it a little bit less busy. I have my canvas set for radial symmetry with rotational symmetry turned on. I'm on my layer one and I am going to erase all of these little dots that I so painstakingly created in the original brush. And I've gone too far, but that's okay because I can redraw this part. There we go. And then let's simplify this one. Here, let's fix that. There we go. And then we're going to simplify this one. And there we go. Now the middle flower, since it's so large, I think needs to have some sort of pattern on it. So we're going to create a nice simple pattern. And I'm just alternating going left or right. Let's edit that shape and turn it into a nice arc. There we go. And that looks better. And then we are going to take this. I'm going to duplicate it. And that way if I make a mistake, I can come back to this point and fix it. Let's go ahead and fit the screen. And we are going to get rid of our stems. And because I'm using the drawing assist, what I do in one area, it does in all the others. That looks kind of wonky. I'm going to redraw it. That's better. Let's fix that one as well. There we go. That's better. Okay. Let's get rid of these. And then I am going to use the freehand selection to select the center flower.
And here's an intermediate tip for you. Once you've selected, if you have areas that you didn't really want selected, for me that would be anything over here, you simply choose this second option to remove instead of add and draw around the parts that you don't want selected. And I've got a little bitty piece there. And I've got a piece here that I want to add, so I'm going to choose Add and draw a little circle around it. And I want to do a remove here. Okay. And then we go to the Actions menu, go to Add, and choose Copy. And we're going to paste it here into Layer 3. Let's turn Layer 1 off so we can see what it is we're doing. And as you can see, we've got this lovely flower. And I want it to overlap in the corners. So let's duplicate it three more times and we will take them and move them into the corners so that one quarter is there and you notice how easily this is snapping and that is because my snapping I've got the magnetics and snapping on I've got the distance set to 21 and the velocity is set for 6.2 this dictates how close it needs to be before it snaps to the individual points. And that's why it jumps so easily for me. This can be a disadvantage later on if you're working in really close quarters. But you can just simply change those settings To fix that issue. So now I'm going to pinch all of these layer threes together and I now have a copy of the central flower going into each of the four corners. We're going to go up a layer and turn on drawing assist and then I'm going to duplicate it and then I'm going to go up another layer and here on layer 7, I want to create my guide for my overlapping stems. I'm going to go to the Hollow Line 2 brush, which is just a copy of my Hollow Line brush, where I set the secondary brush to a maximum size of 50% with no minimum. The primary brush is maximum size, maximum minimum size is turned off as well. So I'm going to create an arc. And I'm going to show you something here. If we keep duplicating this, you'll notice that inside of this arc, it's getting darker and darker and darker. I don't think the brush used to do that, but it certainly does it now. We will take care of that later on. Let's duplicate this layer 7. I'm going to flip it vertical. And then I want to move it up, but I don't want it to snap quite that far. So I'm going to change this distance. Let's put it down to 6 or 7. And that looks good. And then I want to erase this part of this one. And 
on the other side on this one. And then merge these down. I'm going to duplicate this. I want to make sure that both of these are centered. And then I want to take the top one. And this time I'm putting the snapping distance back up to 2021. And I'm going to move this up until it snaps halfway in. And then we will take the other layer 7 and do the exact same thing. Before I let that go all the way, I'm going to duplicate it again, and I'll show you why in a moment. We're going to merge these two layer 7s together, duplicate them, and because I have magnetics and snapping turned on, when I select these, every rotation is 15%. So three rotations, you got 45% going there. And this shows you where these stems are going to end up, which shows you how it's going to actually interact between the corner flowers and our central flowers. And we're going to duplicate that again. And duplicate it again. And we now have mapped where everything is going to end up. And we have this extra layer 7 here that we have just for later on if we need it. I'm going to move it down here underneath layer 1. I'm going to take my layer 5s which is, well that one's empty, yeah the layer 5s are empty. We'll merge the layer 7s together by pinching them and lower the opacity Somewhere around 50% is good. Now on our bottom layer 5, using the hollow line 2 brush, I am going to start here and create a quick curve going that way. And then what I want to do is create a quick curve that matches up into these doubled areas. So if I start up here at the top, I can create a nice smooth line that goes down to there. And I can create a nice smooth line that goes from there into that flower. And then I go up a layer 5. I'm going to duplicate that again. And on this layer 5, I'm going to create the loopy that goes and follows into there. This is where that layer 7 comes into play. I'm going to move it all the way up here, angle it 45 degrees. And I'm going to match it into that one. Turn its opacity down. Let's make sure which layer 5 we're on. We've got this one. So we're on this one. 
which is empty. And I am going to follow this curve right here. And then I am going to go up to the top layer 5 and I am going to follow this curve. And that way, the top, bottom, left, and right are all going to be exactly the way they need to be. The angled ones are not. For the angled ones, I actually want to get rid of the ones that go like that. And keep just the ones that go like that so that it goes behind the flower and looks good. So what we're going to do next is we're going to do some erasing. And I want to make sure to erase This one, we are erasing this. And on this one, we are erasing this. And that matches what we had there for layer three. We'll get rid of these, and then we'll go down to the bottom layer 5, and we will get rid of these. And that way we have that nice detail going on. But like I said, when I turn off layer 7, we still have areas that I need to take care of. And where is that one? That's that layer 7, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay. All right. So I need to fix... Ooh need to fix these and I've already merged them together so we'll carefully erase here and carefully erase here there we go all right and we need to erase where they go into the flowers all right and then we're going to change to quad symmetry. So canvas, edit drawing guide, go to the option, turn it to quadrant, and click done. And what we want to do is get rid of yes, these. And then we want to repair these. There we go. Monoline. I'm going 
going to connect that up there. And we are going to erase inside the leaves. So that means that only where the leaves are on these flowers is it erased. The stem goes behind it instead of in front of it. And we need to get rid of these stems right here. And I forgot I have quad symmetry on, so that means I got to do it there too. There we go. And then we can merge our three layer fives together. Layer three is the one with the corner flower. Layer five has the stems and layer one is our central picture. So let's pinch those three together. And there we go. We're now going to invert and copy. I'm going to clear layer seven. Let's turn everything else off. Go up to the brush that we created last time and duplicate it. And we forgot to do something, didn't we? We forgot to take care of those shadows. So we need to select, make sure we're on the right layer, do an automatic selection, select inside all of the stems, And then we will clear. Now we will invert and copy and invert back and go into this one. Go to the grain, edit, import, paste. Click done and done all the way out. And let us test this brush. There we go. We've got all those extra spaces just filled right in there, no problem at all. All right, I hope you enjoyed this, and you have a wonderful day.